Okay, so construction is finished. We're on to painting. Um, we have started painting things. We're, we're pretty much finished painting things, to be honest. Um, just a little bit more to go. Um, so we have finally finished the construction on the desk. It's all under here. I've painted it all black so you can't see it. Um, but we did actually have to add some more. Um, I got my dad to come over, who he is an engineer, um, just to look at what we've done. And he said, looks good, not quite strong enough. You need to add some more um, supporting beams. So we've actually got the one against the wall. We've got the one in the middle here. And then we've actually got another one here, um, which is just supporting the front end of this. Um, we also have a beam here, which is connected to this middle beam to help support this center beam here. Um, so we've done that. We ooh, down. Um, we've also connected here. This is connected to the um, the seat, and that beam is supported in there. We have attached the wooden tops. They're just screwed in, um, and I've just filled in all the screw holes um, and that center down the middle there. I've just filled in with a bit of filler that's dried. I, had, I did that yesterday. Um, so that's dried. I've given it a light sand and I've wiped the bench over. Um, the little seat is done. This is not screwed down. It is still movable. Um, we have left it like that in case we wanted to add um, hinges. That's what they called hinges. Um, if we want to add hinges to the back and then we can put a little handle here or something so we can lift it up so we can get in if we decide to change the front of this at the moment the front of this is completely open in here um, we have filled in the sides with wood and the base with wood um, and I've got a little bit of foam and material that I'm making a little um, little bed area for the two cats here um, this side is open as well um, we've just got some hidden little hidey hole for something to go in there. Um, I have also made a cushion here. And by Isaac, I made my mother and my grandmother made and I supervised. Um, for lack of a better word, I can sew, but not to the professional level that my mother and my grandmother can sew. So I went over there, bought all the foam they had all the material already and we just sort of whacked one together it took us all day but it was together it looks beautiful you'll see a shot of that in a, later um probably we have also attached the bookshelves here um we did end up painting these ones red with the black accented shelves um just sort of to tie into this these walls a little bit better um i was debating whether or not to do them black but I figured that is quite nice. A little bit of artistic. I don't know. I like that better than the black, so we went with that. Um, so, yeah, that's all done. That top's been painted black, ready to go. Um, I've pretty much painted everything possible to see black. Um, obviously, if you do jump in there and go upside down and in and out of all things, you will see wood somewhere because I'm sure I've missed a spot. Um, so yeah, so this room is pretty much done construction wise. We're just now doing the final painting. I've got one more layer of paint to do hopefully on that tabletop, um, desktop. And then we should be able to just start assembling things. So we're getting the um, monitor. Mounting monitors in there. Um, running all the cable ties um, holes to put all the cable ties to hide the cables we did get we did get these to go in the desk so we can drill a hole and pop these in have cables going down to make it look neater so desk wise chair wise chair is 100 percent done there's nothing more we can do to the chair um i do have that foam for the babies for the <laughs> for our babies our furry babies to sit on um but that's at mum's um, which I'll go back and do at some point. There is no rush for that um, because knowing my two cats, they will be sitting on my seat where I'm supposed to sit. But yes, so that's all done. Desktop, coat of paint on, 
and that should be done. I'm starting to work on this wardrobe now. I have taken the two mirror doors off um, just so I can paint it because this is the original yellow. This is what these walls used to be. So see the colour difference? Didn't look like it from the video, but there is a colour difference. Um, so yeah, so we're just, just going to sort this out. I'm leaving this shelf in here, but I have taken the um, hanger, hanging bar out. Um, we're going to use this as storage for the printer and baskets of stuff of our paints and our craft stuff and anything we pencils and those kind of things so um, I'm just trying to work out the best way to do that I've got some of those um, storage cubes which will fit in there but they're a lot narrower than I was hoping for um, so I'm just gonna have to try and I'll probably put it in there and see if it'll work and if it will we'll use it and if it doesn't really work we'll change it um, my dad is coming over on Friday to do the electrical work for us because he's also an electrician. My dad's a handyman all around. Um, so he's going to move the light and install our new light. We got a three beam, you can change the angles of the different the three lights. So we're going to have one shooting into the seat, one shooting down towards my side of the desk and one shooting down towards Bryce's side of the desk. Um, and hopefully that will create enough ambient light in the room as well. Um, if not, we might have to put a light above me here somewhere um, but we'll see what happens when we put the other light in he's also going to run a, an electrical point into this cupboard for me so I can plug my printer in which will be very nice um, so yeah so I'm just about to do the last little bit of painting in this room um, I'm just going to paint that wardrobe same as these walls I'm only going to do one coat it's a wardrobe no one's really going to see it um, I'm just doing it because I know it's there and it will annoy me in my dreams so that's what I'm doing now.